And welcome back to The Morning Blend. Well, if you've had trouble selling your home in 2020, our next guest might know why. Missy Buttram from HomeWire Realty and Sell 911 has been a local realtor for almost nine years. The big question now is, should you try and list your home again in 2021? Well, Missy is back. She's going to talk about the housing market in the new year. Good to see you, Missy. Good morning. How's it going? I'm doing well. Happy New Year to you. And I Happy know you're new saying year. that to a lot of your clients too. <laughs> yes. Yep. You know, here's the thing. Molly sort of teased it earlier, but she's like, you know, maybe your house didn't sell in 2020, even with such a hot market, because everybody talked about what a hot market the real estate yeah. business was. But what happens if you didn't sell your home? Is there a reason why? But that's why I, I want to talk about it today with the new year and people are thinking about relisting or they're thinking about listing in general. Um, and it was a great market. I had a record year and there are so many things that can go wrong. I mean, number one is and what nine out of 10 realtors are going to tell you is price that you're, you weren't priced right. And I'm here to tell you that pricing should be the last thing you do is drop it. I want to tell you different things you can do. Um, I'm going to come in there and be honest with what's going on with your house and that we can get the price you're asking for because your realtor should be doing that for you, getting the price you want. And dropping price is the very last thing you should do. So that's going to sound good to a lot of sellers because, I, I mean, I even know a place that I looked at that I really wanted and <laughs> the price was too high. I thought it was overpriced. But you're saying, okay, so how do you as a realtor then, how do you address that issue and get buyers to buy the price that the lister wants? Well, I'm gonna come through and give you an honest opinion of your home. Um, before we list it, before we do any contracts, I'm coming through for a free walkthrough and I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna point out um, bad colors, ugly wallpaper, um, it smells like cat, um, the basement's musty. There's a crack in your wall in the basement. It's a big, the big thing is when you're selling your home, when the buyer walks in that front door, so make sure your front door is painted and looks nice, um, that all of their senses are engaged. How does it smell? How does it feel? Does it feel like their next home? Um, does it look pretty? Does it look, does it have a nice clean palette for them to visualize their couch over there or their bedroom or, you know, it has to feel homey to them. All sense, you know, all senses engage. So you need to make sure you have that atmosphere. Maybe you're baking cookies before it's showing. Uh, never know. That that worked for me personally back in the slow market even. It worked. Sold it to the first person who walked through the house. <laughs> That's super smart because they say, you know, the smell of like home cooking or vanilla or chocolate chip cookies yep. is like one of people's favorite smells. And it kind of reminds you of childhood. So I can, I absolutely <laughs> believe that that works. I think, you know, when, when people hear, okay, well, I'm going to get a laundry list of things to do. Do you help people with that? Oh, for sure. And as you know, people know who've been watching this show that I do rehabs to flips with my husband. I have a whole plethora of contractors and, and people that can help with little fixes. I mean, if you don't want to pick up a paintbrush, um, I obviously know someone who can do that for you. Um, I'm going to go through and give you ideas of what you can do. Um, and if you don't want to do it yourself, obviously I'm going to give you some resources. Also giving, um, you know, discounts to local retailers. My husband and I are putting a new card out this month. It's our VIP, VIP client card. So we're helping you with discounts as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna let you, I'm not gonna give you a laundry list and then leave you hanging. Um, I'm also going to give you like, you know, put in a dollar and get $10. I'm gonna show you like easy things to do to make it more marketable and sell quickly for the price you want. I think that's going to sound so good to people. What are some of, so obviously that's number one and, and getting those things. What are some other reasons though, that maybe homes just didn't sell in 2020? So other reasons uh, could be photography. Don't let your realtor come in there with their phone and start snapping pictures. They're not a photographer. Um, have a professional photographer come through. Um, 3D tours were big this year. Make sure you can do a 3D, they do a 3D tour. Um, so people want to get into your house before they're, they're even there. They want to see that internet presence too. Uh, social media, is your realtor doing social media? Uh, maybe they're doing a Facebook Live at your house, putting it out there that way. Um, internet presence on different web, website platforms like Trulia, Zillow, Realtor.com. Um, we personally syndicate to over a thousand different real estate sites. 
Uh, so make sure you're checking that. It's amazing when I have a client, well, future client who like looks up their home and it wasn't even on Zillow. Um, so you got to make sure you're checking all that with your realtor. Absolutely. And and how about condos? Is it condos and houses? Do you work with everything and, and do you have a specialty? Yes, I definitely work with um, condos, houses, duplexes, some commercial. Um, my favorite client is either first time home buyer or investors. I, I get down and dirty and go into multifamilies and duplexes and, and help them find um, their next investment. Well, I think it's great. And we know because we're talking about weddings that a lot of married couples are looking for their first home. And I know you help people with that, too. So thank you so much for joining us, Missy. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. So good to see you. And to contact Missy Butcherum from HomeWire Realty and Sound 911, just give her a call. It's 262-227-7064. Or you can email her at missy at homewire.com or go to the website myteambliss.com. Dot com. She can give you that honest free walkthrough of your home to find out exactly how to sell in 2021. 